I'm Swall Dog. I like to build cool stuff. Today, fuel sump. Installing a fuel sump. Originally, I picked this fuel sump up. That guy, right there. O1 Silver Truck. But, since then, they've come out with a uh, feed and a return. And this one's just a one prong. So, we're gonna be installing this on this Jeep right here. So let's get right into it. All right, here we are. Break down what comes with the sump. Like I said, this was the Ohio Diesel Parts fuel sump, just the one feed. But since then, they've come out with a uh, two feed version also. Comes with the, uh, you got your main sump piece right here. Got the square O-ring here, three bolt holes, a drain hole, then this is your top plate. The bolt's on. Two fittings, you got a half inch barb or a 5 eighths barb, depending on what your system requires, and then three screws to bolt it all together. Obviously it comes with instructions. So pretty straightforward. What we're gonna do, we're actually going to, uh, so this goes together like this. Pretty interesting the way they've got this set up. The feed comes here to your pump from the tank. You drill a hole, this goes in the tank, and then this part goes on the bottom. And the fuel will come in through here and also here, but this this passage, since it's machined out, will get all the, the very bottom of the stuff that comes off of the tank. Um, but it also has a little divider right in here that will catch some of the heavy sediments too. You get caught in there before it goes into your feed right there. So that's pretty sweet. The only thing that I want to do real quick before we install this was there's just a couple little burrs that I wanted to knock off. It's the three screw holes. There's some little burrs right on these edges. We're just gonna knock those off real quick. Got it all deburred. Like I said, just around the edge, around the outside here. These three holes. These little corners. Kind of hard to see these corners. Probably not that big of a deal. Right on the inside of these threads. Like I said, probably not that big of a deal, but I wanted to do it. Let's go see where this is getting installed. Here's the back of the Jeep the fuel cell sitting right here there and we're gonna put the sump right at the back in the center we've got this piece of tube here so what I've done is I've drawn a line right there where that tube goes so we'll just figure out the middle it says we got to give we use a three inch hole saw but it says to give four inches so we'll measure probably two inches down center it across here and that's where we'll uh, put our sump.
right, we got our hole drilled. Three inches we measured. We actually ended up going about two and an eighth from, from here to the center. Three inch hole. So this groove, a lip that goes inside the hole, and then obviously this O-ring right here. So that fits right there. Still gives us enough room for our piece of tubing goes across the back there. It's a little loose in there, but I don't know. Should be just fine. Fits good. We deburred it with our uh, little deburring tool right here. Instructions say you can use a uh, razor knife also, but this worked pretty slick to the inside and the outside. Now we're going to go wash out the tank. back. It's actually uh, been a few weeks. We went to go wash out the tank. There was some like film in the bottom of it. I think from old gas that was left in it, leaving some little ethanol or something behind it. So we uh, took the pressure washer to it, scrubbed out the inside, a little soap and water, and uh, it's good to go now. So we're going to put this thing together, we're gonna to assemble it. We already test fit the tank with the sump, just setting it up in there to make sure everything was gonna clear in the orientation of the hose. I've got it marked right here, which way we want the hose. Um, it comes with two different fittings, a half for a half inch or a uh, five eighths, or we're just gonna use the half inch for this application. And so before we put it together, this cap only fits one way. This little cutout goes on the opposite side that the hose goes on. And we're actually also, so it's got this O-ring to seal it, but we're actually also going to put a little bit of RTV silicone around the bottom of this. It says you can do that in the instructions. We're going to do it anyways just because this tank is a little bit uh, has a little bit of a texture to it. We want to make sure that it will seal. And then obviously you put these screws in from the bottom. And they have a little rubber washer on them. And it says just put a little oil on those also just so they don't uh, so they s will seal a little bit easier and so they don't bunch up or or tear when you tighten them up. It says to torque it to uh, 10 foot-pounds of torque or until they're tight. We'll just tighten them up. Uh, maybe we'll get the torque wrench out and see what 10 feels like and uh, let's get this assembled. Okay, got her put on, torched her down to 10 foot-pounds, and I didn't really feel like it needed any more than that. That seemed pretty snug, so we're going to uh, put it back in the Jeep, let it dry, and get it all hooked up. Fuel tank all installed with the sump right down there, and uh, it's looking pretty pretty slick. We've actually had the fuel tank installed for a few weeks. Put the sump on the tank, let it dry for uh, it was probably two or three days and then installed it in the Jeep. We filled it up with fuel and it's probably been three or four weeks. We're not seeing any leaks and I think this is uh, gonna work out pretty slick. 
If this video helped you out, installing this sump, showed you some information, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you want to see more content like this and uh, go build something cool.